Okay, so I didn't record a video yesterday because I had stuff to do, um, but today I did some research on Monsanto, and although it was a little bit difficult because a lot of the things are opinionated and not fact-based, um, I did find out that there have been some research studies, and the rats that were used in the testing, um, all of the levels that they saw were affected adversely, and uh, they pretty much concluded that it can't be proof that it's causing these things, or because the rats got tumors. Um, they got pretty bad tumors and th different uh, liver damages, and it was different um, with different with the different sexes. Um, females got mammary tumors, and all of the charts that they have, I'll I'll show the link to this the series of tests, um, the study. And it was it's crappy because it can't be actual proof, but it's enough proof for me. Um and also there was a guy, Terrence Ingram. He was researching the effect of Roundup on bees because Roundup is what's used in a lot of the genetically modified foods created by Monsanto. Um, and Roundup's a pesticide. I don't care how safe they say it is. If it's in my food, like, genetically, I'm not okay with that. Um, these bees were showing a resistance to the Roundup. And these two guys, these two people, the Kijiko and Balsen, they inspected his his apiary, and then there was supposed to be a hearing because they said that his his bees had falbrod. It's it looks f o f o u l b r o o d, um, and he said no, I can prove my bees don't have that, and they had a hearing in scheduled for April, but then the state seized his bees in March, so he couldn't bring his bees to the hearing, um. And he'd been studying this for a while, like 58 years. And he thinks that they took his bees to see why they were showing the resistance. Um, and then after they came and seized them, his queens were all dead. So he could not, like, pretty much he was just screwed. <laughs> no more bees for Thomas, or Terrence Ingram. Um, so that was pretty pretty low. A fact from that that Monsanto owns like all all of all, not all but like I think it's like ninety ninety percent of the seeds in the world and it's like I think it's eighty five in the world and ninety in the US. So that's why a lot of people are urging you to buy locally. Um definitely buy locally. Don't buy all the processed foods because a lot of the things that you do buy they have um, high fructose corn syrup in it, or powdered cornmeal, all the stuff, um, and almost all of that is the type of corn that they used in the studies with the rats that got tumors. Um, I wouldn't be consuming it if I were you. It's not good, and we all need to take steps to actually ban Monsanto. I think there have been eight countries that ban Monsanto so far, so yeah, you definitely want to do that. Also, another thing that they're doing is um, like the whole ordeal that they're sectioning out in the bill is actually supposed to protect farmers. Like it's it's not what most people think. It's it's trying to protect it. If they have bought seeds from Monsanto, they're trying to protect and make sure that uh, they don't get in trouble for having those seeds that they bought legally. Even though most of the farmers that have been getting in trouble are getting in trouble because they didn't buy the seeds and they didn't want to buy the seeds, but their crops had gotten affected because they were maybe downwind or the bees um, pollinated the crops and brought the, ge the genes over to their crops. Because um, pretty much Monsanto was like, if you have our crops, we're suing you. And they sued, I think it's over like 400 farmers and pretty much messed up those farmers whole lives. Um, so that's pretty cruel. If they're supposed to be for farmers, they're definitely against farmers and kind of ruining what they've got. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It's it's not like a very glorious company. It's I think pretty, everybody's pretty much got an idea of 
how negative genetically modified foods are and how negative a company in Monsanto is, um, I don't really feel like I have to try too hard to get you to understand that it's bad. Um, yeah, it just kind of sucks. So uh, if you can call, well, you definitely can find a way to uh, sign a petition or call your representative. Um, I'll post a few links to maybe how you can find the representative in your area that you can call and start banning it because it's pretty lame. Um, if we can get enough people, I'm pretty sure we can change it. If you get enough people, I'm sure you can change anything. So um, I advise you guys to do more research on your own. Uh, yeah, sign petitions. I'll link you guys. Um, just try and stay informed. Oh, and buy locally. Uh, or grow your own food if you can. Um, there are a lot of different ways that you can grow, even if you have a small area to plant in. Um, look at DIY sites and stuff. There's square foot gardening, which is pretty cool. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and thanks, thanks for staying informed.